G day people, there's a Sharpino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 29 of the Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit that like button down below for us because as always your support is going to appreciate it. In the last episode you guys, we made our way through the rest of the ice cave. We unfortunately lost another Pokemon. Uh, but in the process we got ourselves a new Pokemon in that cave and we're using it right now. And we've got a lab card now so we can get inside the lab that we couldn't get into the last episode because we're locked up. So let's go ahead and have a look at our team. What we're bringing to the table today. I got we got Dark Fire the Houndoom with Biospin Boil, Nasty Plot and Crunch. Maple Story the Balloon with Spring Buds, Karate Chop, Headbutt, Muck Punch. Rodriguez Ludicolo, the newest member of our team, showing up to the level 54 just like everyone else. Sea Bomb, Hydro Pump, Synthesis, and then Headbutt. And before I go any further, I just want to double check. Oh, the, the cheat was still on. The chance to cheat, yep. Next, we've got Claudia the Gligar with Wing Attack, Earthquake, Baton, Pass, and Sword Teams. We've got Chili the Typhlosion with Flare Blitz, Rock Smash, Strength, and Flame Thrower. And Nathan the Zuck-Two with Side Beam, Storm Front, Frame Attack, and Fly. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this episode started! So in this nice little peaceful quaint town, we've learnt that there's a lab in here that needs some exploring. We get Dora the Explorer on this bitch over here. So we go down. And we're in! These are the war pads. And nothing's happening when I land on them. Okay, cool. What's this thing? Press the red switch. Oh, now they're active. Uh. Yes. Okay, just like just random Pokemon battle, whatever. Scientist number nine. Hunter, Hunter. Let's go, Dark Fire. Crunch. That should kill the Haunter, no questions asked. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. -y. Frostlax. Crunch, crunch. Boom! Likes the music. Another button. So I guess today's question of the day, what's your favorite board game? Do you have a favorite board game? Me, I like um, Monopoly, it was one of my favorites. I was always pretty good at the game, I never lost. Just so you know. Green switch. So we've got all these different switches and it's opening up all these different war packs. So now we can go through here. So we have Epp and Flow this one. Six years of medical and Pokemon anatomy will study will give me the upper hand in this battle. Uh, no it won't. Knowing where a Pokemon's parts are will not help you assist in using them. Jeez, so I'll calm down. Dark fire! Crunch again! These Pokemon, get out of here, boy! Last Pokemon? Lunatone. Once it's a Sol Rock, always a Lunatone. And down they go! Scientist number 9, number 10? Nothing. Yellow switch. Now I've got some re I've got some reason we've got to press this red button again. There we go. Ah, we're gonna press the, other, the green switch on. Oh wait. That's off now, so we can go up now. There's the yellow Power Ranger I see there. Oh, these are the scientists that the Power Rangers were talking to. Oh wait, hold on, what the hell? Oh, wait a second, there's something to be had with that blue bar. Ah, that was a blue bar there. Ah, I 
You signed up for the generous health care plan. There's no way I'm letting you take down this company. All for a health plan? What are you, America? <laughs> Not best Americans, you know, but I know you guys have been going through a bit of a crisis with your health care system. Unlike Canada, the office shop is for free. Let's boil this ditto so it becomes nothing but just... I mean, it's already a ball of goop. This will just turn into liquid. So leave a comment down below and tell me what your favourite board game is and why. I'm gonna boil us up some magnetons. Magneton. Sturdy. Zap cannon and misses. Haha -ha, boy. That's what you get when you play 50-50 chance moves like that. So don't be a dick! Almost level 55. Last Pokemon, Espeon. Oh, hi Mo. Sorry, I gotta do this to you. But I don't wanna lose my Houndoom. Down it goes. Level 55. Alright, so now we're gonna make our way through here. There is so much research still left to be done. I will stop you. Really? You're going to stop me? The scientist has no name. Scientist number eight. Oh, yeah, I forgot to swap around. Alright. Alright, let's go. Download. It's attack work. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and swap into Maple Story. I forgot to swap into Maple Story last episode. Let me do it now. Void Spear. Forgot what that does. I went for screen buttons to uh, crouch up because I'm an idiot. But well, you got the kill, so you're happy either way. Kadabra. Kadabra! Spring buttons. Ah, no! No! It's gonna die! No! It's not even 10 minutes in the episode, and we've already lost the Pokemon. We have to channel someone else again! Great! Fuck the zap cannon bullshit. <sighs> that was a crit. <laughs> Sorry, why? Why? Annoyed, guys, I'm really sorry. I'm just, I'm just. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Pellet Red was an awful leader that never appreciated. Oh, was... never appreciated my fashion style. I thought he was easily upstairs by a kid like you. All right, y'all, Ranger, what you got for me? I like the buzz. Claudia, perfect. Let's go to Rodriguez. Showcasing for the first time. Let's 
Let's go, Rodriguez! Let's go! Ricardo Rodriguez! Jump, jump! That's neutral. Let's go for a C bomb. Oh! Bodrive is physical. That's not going to do too much. I don't think so. Down it goes. Hariyama. Hariyama! Hundred. Fuck. Claudia! You're back! That's a crit again! What's with. What's with freaking Claudia always getting hit with crits? Hariyama goes down. And Claudia's level 55. Last Pokemon? I need this Typhlosion. Earthquake! I know for my last battle. And we get the crit! Yeah! Let's go! No, the terrible lighting ruined my shot this time! Come on! But get this place! Maybe I'll go to Kalos. I'm sure someone out there will appreciate my style and flair. Aha! Flair! Team Flair! Ha! Ah, you're so funny! Metronome. Yeah, the worst move ever besides Explosion Salt Strike. One of the worst moves. The Brown Switch. Let's go up these stairs first, then let's get. Oh shit! Door 3, Door 2, Door 1. There's Pokemon here. What the hell is going on here? Hey, is that a Mew? Looks like. Oh, it's my lady, I think. This isn't my world, but fine. I'm, I'm the reverse engineer of the world, as we know. Let's go, Claudia! Wing attack. Yeah, because that was got no defense whatsoever, so we got this. I was up to. I only had Night Slash, but now I have Baton Pass. Now I regret having Baton Pass. Oh, Baton Pass, my. Claudia. Let's go, Chile! Whoa, what the fuck? Take this Blair Blitz and go fuck yourself. God damn. Stupid fucking Zatu. Jeez. Ooh, jeez, we copped a bit of recon right there. Shite. Last Pokemon. We should be at our speed. And this should get the kill because Alexam is paper frail. Yep. No, no, I was gonna say, there wasn't enough recoil to kill us. No chance. Fat chance, man. Fat chance. To reverse engineer a Pokemon, try it. How? How do you reverse engineer a Pokemon? Cage card number four. Wait a second. Do we get to encounter these Pokemon? Can we actually play with these Pokemon? Wait a minute, wait a minute, that's a Magma in there, that's a Magma in Cage 4. Yeah, I need to heal up first. I'm so mad we lost Maple Story, dude, what the fuck? So a fucking Kadabra. Uh, first off, I thought we'd have speed, and second off, second off, we're ten, we're like ten levels above it. But then again, Maple Story has no defense whatsoever. So once again, we're gonna go to the damn box. 
That is our 13th Pokemon that's dead. So, Maple Story, unfortunately you're there. But, I'm gonna keep this open because... I don't know, like, okay, I'm looking at these Pokemon that we're coming up to see, and honestly, I see a Magma, which I mean, is nice. Wait, let me check my bag, see my balls. Three Ultra Balls, yeah, we need to buy some more balls. Luckily, I just checked that. So, if you want to get a battle with an epic Pokemon, then have, you know, no Pokeballs for it, you know. Yeah, let's go 16 Ultra Balls. Oh, that should, that should, that should do. That should be just fine. Now, we'll head back over there. And apparently, apparently, there is some business to be had there. So right back to business. So we've got cage card number four, which is going to be led to this one. They open the door. Is that a Magmortar? Or it's a Magma? What happened? Oh, crap, we broke through here. Cage card number two. Okay, so we're releasing Pokemon. So cage card number two. So these are all items look like the cage card. So number two would be this one. And I have no idea what that is. I really don't. Succeed my career will be ruined forever. Well, I don't give a f I don't give a crap about your damn career, boy. God of War. Oh, I want God of War, but then I got killed by some bullshit. Strength. Let's see how much damage does God of War. That's about half. Guess Zen headbutt. Uh, God of War you used the wrong move there. You're supposed to use psychic, not Zen headbutt. Slow bro. Oh boy. Let's go to Rodriguez. Let's go Rodriguez! Show them the salsa. Double resist, let's go for the seed bomb. Bang 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 boom! Bing a bang a boom! Oh god. That's like animation though, fuck. Seed bomb! Bang a bang a bang a bang a bang a bang boom! And Snowbird is down! Go down! Down to down to the ground! Hey! Down! Down! Never come around! Hey! Rodriguez is now taking on a Pokemon Z. Hydro Pump! Noise Pulse. Does about. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on! Now we are speed the Pokemon Z. I'm a little bit worried. It's not very effective. Oh no 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 Fuck's sake man What is going on? Void Spear Let's go for a flamethrower So what is not it's it's obviously normal sound It has to be normal sound and it just At least it's still weak to rock at least it's still weak to rock. Level 55. Hot damn. Hot damn. Alright, let's continue. This is cage card number 5. Number 5. Alright, let's continue our onslaught of releases for these Pokemon. So number 5 is over here. It's an Ampharos. Hey buddy, you're good to go. Something just sounds like you got electrified. Um, but where did it electrify? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, my camera just ran out. I just managed to talk to him and I just noticed that the camera just shut itself off. So now we're going to continue exactly where we left off. Enough of you! Tell me! What is your goal in life, huh? My goal in life is to be financially stable for once. And here's you trying to take it all away. Do you think I care that it's unethical, huh? People around the world do unethical things to survive. Once those greedy people think they need to pro our product to compete, complete in Pokemon battles, I will have all the money I need to get everything I ever wanted. You are not going to go any further. Some tough words there. Zatu, eh? Let's go flamethrower. 
and pain split. Flamethrower. And we get the kill. Let's go. Rudy Colo. Okay. Um, I was going to think. Now, we could go for Stormfront, but that would possibly bring a rain dance. I don't want that. So we're going to go for a fly. Hydro Pump misses. Look how much fly does to Rudy Colo. Woo! Down it goes! Let's go, people! People! Tyranta. Ah, shit. Well, this is not gonna be fun. Um, let's go ahead and bring in Rodriguez. Oh, that's gonna hurt like a bitch! Whoa! Why'd that do so much damage? What the hell? That crunch did way too much damage. How do, wait, synthesis! Oh, okay, I guess I could do that. Wait, why didn't that recover anything? What the hell was that? I have no idea, my synthesis did like absolutely nothing. Let's go for Earthquake. Dust Devil, but missed. So that's like a rock slide. We get a super effective hit, and down goes Tyranta. So Rodriguez lasted about one episode, just about. <sighs> Victory Bell's next. Looks like the Sandstorm's going to be working toward for me now. Because um, I think it has already has sand veil, I think it does. So that works out for us, which is we've explained why the thing missed. But these Pokemon levels though, they're fucking climbing man. They're level 50s and 52s. I'm level 55s and I'm just just getting above them. That was a crit and did that much. Uh oh. It's neutral! Oh, did nothing. What was I worried about? I'll have to check the replay after to see what happened with Rodriguez, but yeah, apparently he didn't do shit. Persistent child, you always want to do the right thing, don't you? But guess what? The rest of the world won't care about your needs. Giving gets you nowhere in life. Taking is the only way to survive in this world today. Go on, think about who you're hurting. Cage card number one. Okay, so we have number one. Oh, number one! Ah, number one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, number one, that's this thing over here. Is that a person? Looks like Hitmonchan. Yeah, I figured that would be the next block. And last but not least, cage card number six. Would be the Milotic. And cage card number three was inside number six. Okay, let's go ahead and release this Blastoise. Alright, let's see what's changed. Let's see changed over there. Ah, we've got a surf over there now. Okay then. Well, we don't have a water type, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the PC, regroup, and I think we need to train up our Pokemon and do another a bit of a grinding montage. Well, not a grinding montage, but just another grinding session because these Pokemon are level 52. That time was level 52. And I was like, uh, I don't want to deal with that. that that's just some bullcrap right there. Well, we lost two grass types this episode. That is a darn shame. That is a darn shame. We have another Pokemon to add to the dead box. And it's level 55. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the first box. Let's have a look at what we can do with our Pokemon. We've got the shiny Rhydon. Which I think would be good to have. Um, but we need something that could... We do need a grass type though. 
Or maybe not. I mean, look, we've got two fire types. Really, we just need something that can handle... So we've got fire, ground flying, psychic flying, and then... So... We don't have another fire type. We could go right to... I think we'll do that. And then... Then we have three... We have four weaknesses. To, nah, we can't. We can't have that. We need to do something else that can resist. Actually... Bug flying? No. Alright. We'll add Tentacool, but we'll deposit back into Pikachu and get something else. So... What are we going to get though? What are we going to get? I think one, two, we've already got three weaknesses to water. We need something to resist water. Unfortunately, we've got nothing on the team that really resists the water. You know what? Let's go ahead and add the Ash back to the party. So, we'll go ahead and get everyone trained up. And in the next episode, we will have... Hopefully a full team, we'll say level 60s by the next episode because these Pokemon, like I said, they're starting to get a little bit out of hand. So I will say thank you very much for enjoying today's episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you hit like button down below for us because as always, your support is very appreciated. And in the next episode, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, just do some more Pokemon shenanigans. So until the next time, I'll see you guys. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!